Just going to have a quick chat about eucalyptus gunnii and what sort of a climate it's adapted for. It's obviously pretty well known for being cold hardy. But uh, there's not much in, uh, in the literature or online that I could find about what type of conditions it likes. And initially I assumed it would be more suited to a wet climate. And I planted a few of these on the west coast where we get probably over two metres of rain a year. And there have been a dismal failure there. They haven't really grown, but the ones here on the east coast where there's... This is extremely dry down here. And that one there's absolutely rocketed away, so... I'd say if you think about planting gunny eye, a dry site is definitely preferable and I would say they will actually, they'd actually be, based on this individual, one of the most, um, one of the better species for a dry site. That tree I cut off by accident with the chainsaw at the start of summer, just there, and that's put on a spectacular amount of growth in the interim that would be well over two metres in a, in a really dry season. So. Yeah, for, for the dry, I think those would be quite a good bet. They're not they're not a timber species or um, anything um, like that. They're, they're a bit scrappy growing and can have multiple leaders, but and low branching. But for firewood, yeah, I think that's possibly going to be as good as anything. You can see it's still got its semi-juvenile foliage there at the bottom. So I'll probably come and give that a bit of a prune at the bottom. Yeah, and uh, I'll give you a look at a seedling here, um, so you can see that classic, classic foliage, the bluey greeny uh, stem clasping, and then it's transitioning into the adult foliage here. That's sort of the intermediate foliage. Yeah, so it'd be interesting to come back and have another look at that next year, see how much growth it's put on. But I was very surprised to see how how well that's doing.